Hey everyone, welcome to episode 16 of the Minecraft Journals. As you saw, I've been uh, mining some more, down in obviously the mine, and uh, been quite successful in the diamond department. Got 36 more diamonds. Um, I think there's 38 in the chest over there, so that's been doing quite well. And obviously, been getting levels, so once again, let's try for Silk Touch on a book. Fingers crossed. Nope. There you go. Sharpness, that's alright. You are sword. Da, da, da. We're doing alright for sharpness is. Sharpness eye. Anyway. Da, 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 da. Let's put the diamonds in here. Yep. So we've now got a whole stack of diamonds. Which is a nice place to be. I do need to repair this. It's taking a bit of a battery in. And I'll need a new sword soon. But yeah, the plan for today, after it's day, is to head off down uh, to the zombie spawner and start setting that up. So I've got a few things to get ready here and then I'll meet you down there. And here we are. Uh, what I'm going to do first is probably sort out where I'm going to have the water running so let's have these out oh, where's my other one come on there you are so what I'm probably going to have is, well, they'll drop down into the water, obviously. And they'll come down to this central point here. Ooh. Awesome. Uh, so let's carry on the water stream here. So now that's obviously too high. I'm amazing. Let's try that again. Uh, you can have a torch. I'm going to change this from dirt to cobble because it'll annoy me. Uh, let's get you as well. you. Sweet. And what I think I'll do is... no. <laughs> Click. There we go. Is... here. I'll... S oops. Set a new... That'll be a new water block there to be to take them along to where I um, where I'm gonna have them go up. Okay, let me out. This seems to work all right. I think. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, so they'll spawn, drop down, come down here. It's not a complicated setup. And then water source block, carry them on, and then it'll just be a, a mob elevator all the way up. And then, if I can get out, ever, come on, there we go. Uh, they'll go across, up, and then drop down somewhere here. Um. What I'll do is I'll make a decision where I want the the kind of XP section to be the the bit where I kill them and the drops get uh, stored and then I'll be right back. Okay, dug this out a little bit as you can see, extended the stairs down. 
Uh, this back here is where that's the mobs. That's the uh, spawning room, and then that's where they're gonna go up on the uh, the mob ele ele the mob elevator, and then they'll be dropping down from here onto this will be the hopper that'll be blocked up as well and then i can stand here and just get to town uh this this it's cut in two so i can have glass down the front so i can see them dropping down obviously these aren't this isn't going to be the finished kind of walls i'm just kind of making it rough to start with and then i'll pretty it up afterwards but yeah i think what i might do is my, oh, uh, it's this level because as far as I'm aware there's a nine block centred on the spawner there's nine blocks and before blocks either side where it checks um, if there's say zombies in this case and if there isn't it spawns more if there is it doesn't spawn so that's why I've set this so low and so the holding area is lower I'm hoping if I've got it right, that they'll be outside of that area. So I think what we might have to do is actually... If I do that, can I get out? No. Is actually check it. If I do... One of these. I'll take them this way. And... Yeah, that'll do. I'll be able to get him there. And I can't get it up there. The fun part is going to be taking the torches out. And I've added bonus to testing it as well will be that I'll get some XP and I can fix my um, pickaxe because it's looking a bit um, worse for wear again um, and I, th I think it was 30 something levels to fix it from almost broken last time so oh there's one He's made his way in there, so that's a good that's a good sign to start with. Uh, oh, I missed one. Don't fall. Oh, gotcha. You, and you, and you. Do, do. So that should get a spooky noise. So what I'm going to do is um, hang out here now and see if we get um, like a decent amount of spawns build up, or whether it's kind of capped off at the. I think it might be six. Oh, I don't like the look of that. That's fine. Okay, capped off at the kind of six that I think the spawner can have in its kind of area at once. So, I'll be back when I've got some more zombies. Oh. Should have probably been paying more attention uh, to my sword. Well, as you can see, and um, here, this is far enough away for it to um, for that to work. Um, unfortunately, though, I did break my sword, which 
is a bit annoying. So I think... Um, well, I can pop back and get another sword. But I might just finish these off with this piece of dirt. Oh, dear me. Yeah, I'll finish these off with this piece of dirt or cobble, possibly. Get back in. Thank you. Um, fix my pickaxe because it will die soon. And then um, we'll start. I'll set up the, kind of the start of the, um, I suppose you call it the killing floor. Um, and then start the tunnel up. So I'll be back in a in just a moment. I haven't got quite enough levels to fix my uh, diamond pick, so I thought try them on a an iron one. 18. See what we get. What? Well, <laughs> um, well, there you go. We've got a silk touch pick. Um. Well, that was a bit of a surprise, I'll be honest. Yeah, sweet. Okay. Um, well, I'll go make another pick for building with, and that can that can go there. Oh, sweet. Okay. Um, that's throwing me a little bit, that is. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, that can be for building. I've got this sword with me now as well. I thought this might might uh, come in handy if we have any kind of accidents, inverted commas. Uh, let's head back down. Oh, oh silk touch is nice. Um... I still do kind of want it on a book because what I want to make is some silk touch shears um, for cobwebs and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, a pick's going to be... Um, that's real nice. Okay, well, the plan is if... Okay, let's try this. So that's where that's going to be. Have I got it on me? Yes, I have. So that's going to be a chest. And that's a hopper. Then that'll be like a half slab there. And there'll be a, um, a half slab at this level as well. So. Is that the level or is this the level I want? I think I want that down one more. Oh. Come on, chests. Come on. Hmm. Yeah, it is. Okay. some space to work so that's the chest and that's the hopper and that's the one that they fall down onto to their store for storage waiting up until their demise sorry about that I decided to um, push it back one more block so now, if we can jump up here, the plan is, I've got some ladders, to um, dig up and ladder with ladders now, uh, 23 blocks will be the level that they drop from, and then obviously two more so they can stand in there. And then we'll have our, um, our drop. So I'll... Um, carry on doing this and 
see you when I finish. Okay. Um, obviously, got to replace these here. But now all we've got to do, I think, and I don't know why I've done that because I need to get back through here, is come up here with the uh, with the water. So once again, see you in a bit. There it is. Now let's just test it out. A little bit dark, but. There's not a lot I can do about that, I'm afraid. And going up, going up. Caution. And then it's the day one. Sweet. Uh, now, you need a water block. Ooh, and I happen to have one left. So you go there. And then they go up. Sweet, okay. Let's get some blocks. Boom, boom. Da -da, uh -uh. Oops. Now, just gotta take the ladders down. Come on. Ah. Uh. Oh, of course I can't. Go on. There we go. Yeah, just got to take the ladders down. This is going to take a while. I tell you what, I'll be back once I've uh, once the ladders are down. And we're ready to um, to give it a test. Oh. Possibly the drop is too far. <laughs> uh, I'll wait again to see a few more come down. And sit and um, let's, yeah, to see if I might have to um, raise this up one block. Okay, raised it up another block, so we'll see um, if this is any more successful. Yeah, that's good then. Okay, so this is the level we've got to. Um, I'm not sure I was right to start with. This is the level we've got to um, set the mat. Those there. Okay. Well, what I'll do is move away from zombie noises. Uh, put some lights back in there, and then we'll. I'll dig down, and we'll start setting up the um, the redstone for underneath. Okay. That's almost everything ready. Just one more thing to get. Whoop. I saved over here. Bucket of lava. And off we go. So. Let's make our way down. And then. Dispenser here. Uh, which way do I want to shoot? Hmm. Where do I want the lava to be? What if I grab it? If I have the lava there, <laughs> I don't know where. I'd Dug any of that out. So that's. That'll be lava there. Stone. And then that's the last one. Um, I've had to separate them out like this because um, I want a lever to stop things coming through to here. 
Um, but if I if I power this um, hopper to stop the items going through here, it also then powers this, which makes it click and be annoying. So I've had to. Um, I'll be powering this one with a torch, so the items stay in this chest here. And then when I flick a lever, they'll come through this hopper, through this chest, through this hopper, and then into here. Convoluted, but there you go. And these were... That was in. That was out. Block. Can I get round enough? Point the right way. Bosh. And then... Mm, mm. Mm. Ah, there was already some zombie flesh in there. Well, that worked. Okay, now... Let's get up a bit further. Now, this is the hopper that I want to power. So, click torch. Torch, so now... If that's got zombie flesh in it, it stays where it is until the torch is off and it goes through and then dispenses. Yep. Ah, oh, let me on. No. Okay. Actually, let's put a torch down here. There we go. So, you are powered now. Where's my lever going? I think I want it... There. So... Yeah, we're going to do this. Do half slabs, I wonder. Let's have a look. If I got any in here. Oh, nice. I'm going to take that off there in case I accidentally put it down. So, there, there. Is that going to work? Peculiar. Uh, how about if we go ladder? Yeah, no. Why well, you no know work? Hmm. Okay. Uh, but, uh, how about... Like that. Yep. Sweet. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. So... For none. Uh, uh, uh. And there, and there, there, there. So let's chuck some in. That should go down into here. Oop.
So we've got 11. Awesome. No. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, no. Okay. That's not going back any further than that. Oh, no. Ah, ah, ah. into the block and that needs cutting off put a torch in there as well so then I can trap myself in here that work? No burnouts. Sweet. Okay. We can also have a torch. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I think that's all. That all looks like it should be working, I think. Okay, let's get rid of that ladder, fall in, get out, uh, did I have any more, I did, so this was going to have a slab there and a slab there, so I can access the chest and I don't get too close to the zombies, okay, I think there I was going to have a indicator light. I wish to that. It's not like that. It's like that. So when the light is on, it means the stuff's going to the disposal. Okay, well, I think that's probably working let's get rid of a couple of these come on ah. let's put this back and then we'll um We'll see if they make it down. Well, it seems to be working. Um, what I'll do is get rid of my zombie meat. So that stays in, the drops stay in this chest until I pull the lever. And then let's just have these quick. Get the XP. And the rotten flesh is in there. Oh. Ah, no, stop dying. Wait, mm. let's 
away for a couple more. See, I don't understand why they died and these guys don't. Anyway, it'll probably even out. So, yeah, ooh, torches, sweet, okay. <laughs> Found some of my torches. Yep, that's working, and then light on. It's all dispensed into the incinerator. And then when it's run out, it stops. Sweet. Well, that all works. Right, this episode's probably long enough. So, next episode, we'll have a look at Pretty in the Place up a bit. But now, all's left to do is write in the journal. Thank you.